What is good friends, back with more SPL, we have Azok aka Female vs Snow for week 2. Uh, we got Azok playing for the Tigers and Snow playing for the Cryos, let's look at the teams real quick. Most likely going to be Sub-Zero, Slime, Akiram, Defensive, Defog, Zapdos. Solvus Megina has to be that, uh, it's going to be nice in this match versus the Balabon Greninja. Either Scarf Lando or Scarf Hooper, not quite sure about that. Defensive Lando would actually make a bit more sense because... His Zygarde matchup is not the best, but between Lando and Gyarados both having Intimidate, Kyurem being um, relatively bulky and also checking Zygarde well, he could be okay with the offensive land uh, with the Scarf Lando, but defensive Lando makes more sense, which would mean it would be Scarf Hooper, because otherwise he doesn't have a Scarf and I think he needs some Scarf or some speed control. Uh, Scarf Hooper would be weird to me, but we will see later in the game if the Hooper or the Lando is a Scarf. And yeah, it's going to be DD Mega Gera. On the other side, we have a Psychic Sita Lucha, which means it gets a Spadef boost. Uh, most likely a Z-move Lele, I assume it's either z Shattered Psych or All Out Pummeling. Then it could be Spikes on Greninja and Rocks on Ferrothorn, which would mean that Swampert gets an extra move slot if Swampert doesn't have to run Rocks. So it could be either 4 attacks Swampert, or it could be um, 3 attacks Rain Dance Swampert. I assume the Pelipper is um, Choice Specs, because he only has one Swift to my user. Um, obviously Greninja also likes the Rain, would it, boosting up its water moves, and Ferrothorn is not 4 times weak uh, to fire in the Rain, but I still think that Specs Pelipper makes more sense. Um, he, also, he also has speed control in um, water showing on Greninja and Burden on Halucha. So I assume that's why it makes sense that the Lele is Z-move and not Scarf. So I think Snow can lead off with the Kyurem here. It seems to have a really nice matchup versus most of Femen's uh, team. And if he led off with Lele, then he could have still switched into Megiana. So I assume we either see HP Fire or Z-move. We do see a Z-move. Um, do we see Rocks go up here? We do see Rocks go up. That is not left over with Ferrothorn, so it could be Choppleberry, which helps versus Katana and versus Medicham. So Femen has two plays here. You can either sack the Ferrothorn or you can go hard into top of Lele. Um, if he goes Lele, that would take a good um, like 39 and 40 from Ice Beam. Between like 35 and 40. And then Ice Beam to Fusion Bolt I think is actually a roll to kill Lele. So I don't know if he wants to make that play. But keeping Ferrothorn as fodder for later in the game is obviously nice for Femen. And if he goes hard into Lele, I, don't, I think Snow would then switch out. Because uh, Snow wants to cure him healthy. Because Kyurem is amazing for the Swampert and also helps versus Balabon Greninja, so that cannot spam its water moves. And so um, he would most likely just go Megiana if the Lele comes out here. So like the reason why um, why Femen can make that play going Lele on the Ice Beam is because... Yes, it's most likely not Scarf Lele, but Snow still wants this Kyurem healthy and he also doesn't want to risk the Lele being Scarf. So he does want to switch out here, um, most likely into Megiana, which has to be a Solvus looking at the team. So yeah, if uh, Femen has Nature's Madness here, that would be a potential cool play to catch the Megina and weaken that. That would help his Greninja potentially getting Battle Bond later in the game. So yeah, I can see Femen just going for an attack here to weaken the Megina, either Moonblast, Psyshock or Nature's Madness, just to weaken the Megina, help the Greninja get the Battle Bond off later in the game. So you see Psyshock. Now, Snow is most likely going to go for Flurkin here because he doesn't want to let the Swampert come in for free. So Femen has a few options here. He could, could go either in the Ferrothorn on the Florican or he could stay in as well because Florican is a roll to kill Tapu Lele. And Snow is never gonna go for Iron Head here because there's a Swampert and a Ferrothorn in the back. So he's either gonna Florican or HP Fire depending on if he predicts the Ferrothorn or if he predicts the Swampert to come out or if, yeah, he's never gonna Iron Head. So if, uh, if Femen wants to stay in, he could do that. He could go for like potential Z-move, weaken the Megiana and then that helps his Balabon Ninja. I already talked about it. I think, yeah, Flurkin does like maybe f 54 to 65, something like that. It's a roll to kill the Lele. Not 100% sure, but yeah, it does something like that. But yeah, if I'm Snow here, I would probably go for Flurkin. And if I'm Femin, I either go Pharaoh on the Flurkin predict, or I stay in to uh, just weaken down the Megina with the Z move. Also, Swampert is looking pretty threatening with Rocks up. Snow like wants to get a chance to defog later with Zapdos. There's the pummeling. That's gonna do nothing because it's AV. And there's the Florican, and he does not get the roll. Okay, like his team, half of his half his team is weak to Rocks. So Snow obviously wants to get a defog off later. There's the Swampert, which is a really nice play. Catches him on the HP Fire. So Snow predicted him to go Pharaoh there, but Swampert covered Florican and HP Fire, so it was a perfectly fine play by Femen. And now he keeps Lele alive, which is gonna be nice. Uh, so he's gonna just fire off a waterfall here, Snow goes into his uh, Landris. Now we can see if it's offensive or defensive Lander from that damage. 
So that's 51. I think that might be... Yeah, that's probably bulk invested Landris. So the Zapdos is pretty obvious here because at minus one, the Zapdos can live a uh, waterfall and ice punch with ease. So Femin could uh, probably double here predicting the Zapdos. If his Battle Bond Greninja has Ice Beam, he could go to that if that kills after rocks. Or he could also go into Tapu Lele and then uh, threaten the Zapdos. Either I would just like either just to weaken the Zapdos, or if he has taunt on that, he could prevent the Zapdos from defogging. But yeah, Femin should never stay in here because then the Zapdos comes in and then he gets to Roost slash defog. So he doubles in the later anticipating the Zapdos. Nice play. And now Snow is not gonna stay in here. Snow is probably yeah, he goes back into Megiana. Do we see a taunt? We do see a taunt. So yeah, nice play by Snow, not uh, staying in on the taunt. And now. I would probably go into Ferrothon here if I'm Femin because uh, the Lily can still speed tie with the Kyurem. Uh, he goes Swamp, but I mean, he, he tries to catch the Ferro with the HP Fire, but I, w I think Ferrothon might have been the, the play that I would have made. Obviously, uh, it worked out for Femin, so I can't say anything, but having Swamp but healthy I think is pretty important, so I pro I would not have wanted to go Swamp but then a potential Ferro can, but his play worked out really nicely for him. Now, uh, he can just go for Waterfall. Snow could either sack this or he could go hard into Kyurem, because even after Rocks, Kyurem can live Waterfall into Earthquake, I'm pretty sure. But it has really good natural bulk, especially if it's not the minus defense nature, it should be able to live Waterfall into Earthquake. So I assume he's uh, either going to sack his Landris or go hard Kyurem. I said he could stay in at first, right? But he still wants the Megina because the Megina can still take Dark Pulses from the Battle Bond Greninja. So there's the Kyurem. I assume we're just going to see a Waterfall. If he Earthquakes here, that's a good play. He does just Waterfall. Now, if this Kyurem has Roost, it beats the Swampert with one, uh, one on one. So I think Femin wants to switch out here for sure. And yeah, Femin can sack his Farothorn here. Because if you go Greninja here on a potential Roost, that doesn't work out for you at all. Because Kyurem obviously um, can beat Greninja with Fusion Bolt if it's at full. So yeah, attacking Ferrothorn makes sense here. Unless you want to stay and go for Earthquake to see if the Kyurem has Roost. Yeah, also the last move on the Swamp, but there's a few options. It could be Stone Edge, it could be Power Up Punch, it could be just like a fighting move like Super Power Hammer Arm Focus Punch. I don't know if... We, we'll see, maybe it will be revealed later on. But attacking yeah, Ferrothorn here makes sense. And then depending on what the Kyurem goes for, you can go from there. If the Kyurem doesn't go for Roost, if it just Ice Beams here, then you can uh, go into your... Either, no, no, going Lele wouldn't be the play because that's a speed tie. So yeah, then you would most likely have to go into Greninja. So yeah, if Snow roosts up here, that's actually really bad for Femin. But he does just Ice Beam. So yeah, now he can go Greninja. And then scare out the Kyurem because Spike Stark Pulse would obviously kill the Kyurem. Um, yeah, if Snow roosted there and then killed the Pharaoh after with Ice Beam, I don't know what Femin would have done. That would have been super scary for him, a healthy Kyurem. But now, since the Kyurem is weakened, uh, Battleborn Greninja can pick up the kill from this range. And Femin is in a fine position. Since the Megina is also already weakened. Um, yeah, I would go Greninja here for sure. And since the Megina is already weakened, like I said, he could predict that Megina to come out. Because Dark Pulse obviously doesn't tweet KO the Megina, right? But he could uh, either go for like Water Shuriken or Hydro Pump, predict the Megina switch in. Most likely Hydro Pump would make sense to me. And then get his Battle Bond off, which would be really nice for Femin. Like, besides Greninja, his only other play would be going Lele and risking the tie or going Swampert. And because if this doesn't have Roost, then Swampert should beat it as well. And that's the Greninja. So, like, it's really obvious that Snow doesn't want to switch in here and give him Battle Bond. So, the Megina is going to come out here. So, if I'm a Femin here, I would consider going for Hydro Pump or Water Shuriken. Depending on the Kalk, um, I think Water Shuriken will probably not do it KO the Megina. So, I'd probably go for Hydro Pump. Um, I understand that it's really risky if the Kyurem stays in, you're screwed, but Kyurem can still, um, it still speed ties with the Lele, it can potentially come in on Pelipper and get a kill later on, or like at least weaken the Swampert. And if there's no rain up, it can also outspeed the Swampert and do some damage to that. So it's still valuable and you also don't want to give the Greninja Battle Bond, so he should he go Megina here. So if I'm Femin, I would just predict the Megina and go for Water Move. For sure, for sure. I mean, he can also just go for Dark Pulse and then um, maybe sack his Tapu Lele the next turn. But I think going for Water Move is the superior play, even though it's a bit risky. It's just pretty obvious that Snow is not going to stay and just give you the Battle Bond form. Because then his Greninja could be a huge problem for Snow. Especially when the rain goes up later on. Greninja with Ash form and Water Shuriken is super scary. 
but especially with rocks being up as well so like i don't think there's any chance that snow is going to stay in here for sure yeah so yeah it just makes sense like to go for water move here catching the megina and then getting your ash form off because if you get your ash off i think then snow is forced afterwards to go into his um either scarf hooper if he's scarf or to go into his gyarados and mega evolve to check the greninja also, the rocks were super nice for Fion because the, Gar the Zapdos is already at around half after the next rock switch in attacks, like a little bit over half. So like, it's also nice for the Halucha from Fion's side, too. that's also going to be able to put in some work. But yeah, he's going to go Megina here for sure. And uh, like I said, I would most likely go for the water move. Even though it's a bit risky, it's just... If you think about it... He doesn't want to just give you battle bond, so he's obviously gonna go Megina, right? Yeah, I think the score in the series is 3-3 three and three at the moment between the Cryos and the Tigers. But yeah, they're taking their time here, understandable. Not not the easiest turn. Um, but to me it's just pretty obvious that the Megina is gonna come out here. I don't know how often I'm gonna have to say that. Until he makes a play. <laughs> so there's the Megina. Do we see um, a water move or do we see a dark pulse? We do see a dark pulse and it does not do it KO. So now he should probably um, sack his Tapu Lele here. Uh, Snow is just gonna go for Flurkan here. Yeah, I would just sack the Lele here and then afterwards you can go into your Halucha or you can go. Hmm, I don't know if you want to sack the Lele actually. He does go for the flinch, which I don't agree with that play. There's the Florican. So the Greninja is dead. The Greninja could have had Battle Bond form and put in a lot of work. He just sacked it off. So like firstly, I don't agree with not going for Water Move because the Megina was so obvious. And secondly, even if you go for Water Move, then you should not have sacked it. So now he's going to U-turn out into his uh, Swampert because Swampert can easily take on the Megina at minus one. Uh, that still is a good chunk though. So yeah, now he can just waterfall, it's rain boosted, he sacks the Megina obviously since the Greninja is dead and it's, it, did, it, it did its job and he didn't have a switch in so he had to sack it. So now he can go into either Gyarados or... Hmm. Yeah, I think he has to go Gyarados actually. Yeah, he has to go into Gyarados here to get Intimidate off. And then he can... Like, I don't know exactly what, what um, Femin should have done, but he definitely should not have sacked his good ninja. Um, yeah, he can go, Snow can go for Dragon Dance here. I mean, there's a sledge that it has Edge, but the chat is also talking about it. Just just sack off the Lily. Does he Dragon Dance? Nice. So now he can uh, Waterfall to pick off the Lily here. And then now his Femin is forced to go into Halucha because that's the only one he has to outspeed the Gyarados. And he has to bring it in range from... He has to bring it in range from the from the Swampert. Now... I assume this is gonna do like 60% Acrobatics. Snow doesn't want to Mega here because if he Megas and the Halucha High Jump kicks that would be bad. But yeah, Femin is obviously gonna Acro. So if he breaks that he could Mega if he wants to but I think staying in regular is the play. Um, I think Alucha would outspeed Gyarados still at plus 2 potentially, so DDing again is not the play because then you get 2 hit KO'd. So he has to just attack the Halucha here. With uh, Waterfall in the range should kill, the f especially because the Halucha has a Spadef boost and not a defense boost. So yeah, we're going to see an Acro here from Femin to weaken the Gyarados and Snow is going to be able to kill the Halucha with a Waterfall. And then we will see if the if the Pelipper is not Damp Rock, then... Um, the rain is gonna run out and it's gonna be bad for Femin. Which I predicted it to not be damn Brock. That would actually be super bad for him in this scenario because the rain would then run out next turn. Because if there is no rain, then Swampert cannot outspeed the Gera and then he's in a really bad position. Because then he has to go uh, Pelipper to reset the rain. But yeah, we shall still that uh, after this turn. Acrobatics definitely is gonna bring the, the Gyarados and Rage from Swampert's waterfall. So. If Femin um, has Damp Rock, then it's fine for him, but he, if he doesn't have, then it's actually a rough spot. No, actually, since he threw his Greninja away, this is gonna be a bit hard for him to win now. Even if even if he has Damp Rock. I don't know why he sacked his Greninja. Like, he could have done a few things there. I mean, like I said, I would have gone for Water Move to get the, the Ash, and 
But even if you don't get the ash, so the waterfall is gonna kill. Now we do see it is done, Brock Pelipper. Okay, so I got that one wrong. So now he's gonna be able to go for a waterfall with the Purd. Um, the Gyarados dies to rocks, so I assume Snow is just gonna sack the Gyarados. And yeah, after he sacks the Gyarados, he can then um. I don't remember how healthy his Kyurem is, but pretty much he can. If his Kyurem has Roost, he can like intimidate the Swamp with with the Lando and like sack the Landorus. And when the rain runs out, he can come out with his Kyurem and then Roost up if he intimidates the Swamp a few times. He can easily eat an Earthquake then. Um, also, after he intimidates, oh no, what the fuck? He lost the timeout. So I don't, I don't think that game was over yet. Um, so like he could have sacked the Gyarados, then he could have intimidated the Swampert, and then he could have, when the rain runs out, right? Eventually the rain runs out. That means uh, Hoopa gets a kill when the rain runs out. Yeah, that, that, that sucked a lot, but basically if, if Feeman kept his Ash Greninja around and like if he just water moved the Megina and got his Ash from, then I think Feeman had a good shot at winning this. But now that timeout win, I mean it was still everyone's game, but I think it was definitely in Snow's favor. Like he could sack something to get Intimidate off and then he can either get a kill with Hoopa or if he has Roost and Kyurem he can potentially heal that up. And then Snow, uh, Feeman eventually has to sack his Pelipper to get the rain back up and get the Swampert back in. But I'm pretty sure, and then he has to get a flinch to ha to win the game. So it would have been in Snow's favor as for sure. Yeah, yeah. So that sucked. Um, yeah, I don't agree with how he played Swiss Greninja out the window. But yeah, that sucks to lose the timer. I don't know. Does Snow not have a computer? Did he play on phone or how did that happen? Let me pause real quick and we'll look at the score. So we can see here, um, it's 3-3. Three and three, So now the... The Tigers are now up 4 was four to 3 was the crowd. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, that ending sucks. Yeah, I'm kind of speechless. I will see you guys later with more games. And I also hope my man Ultra Bolt has some time to do some guest narrations. Because he like he like he his lower tier narrations are actually so fire. Even myself, I don't did not enjoy lower tiers like the last year or so. But I... Finally, I started enjoying lower tiers. I love like almost every lower tier. I love you, you, are you, and, and you. Like I still don't have the knowledge to narrate them myself, but I might eventually start narrating them myself because I actually start loving them. It's pretty interesting to me. But thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. Hit that like button if you enjoy, and peace out, friends.